Hi children, today let's do something different, something interesting. We'll do division pattern. Let us remember, we have done multiplication, didn't we? For every multiplication fact, there are two division facts. You have to remember that. For every multiplication fact, it gives two division facts. And that is what we are going to look at today. It is very nice, very interesting. Let us look and learn. Look. Look at this. 2 into 8. 2 eights are equal to 16 and this is called a multiplication fact. 2 eights are 16 and for this one multiplication fact, we can get two division facts. Yes? How? Let us look. Now, 2 eights are 16. Yes? Now, if you divide 16 by 8, what will we get? We have 16 divided by 2 will give you 8. 16 divided by 2, that is 2 times table. 2 eights are 16, that is one division fact. And the next division fact, 16 divided by 8. And that gives you the answer. 8 twos are 16, so your answer is 2. What are we learning today? We are trying to remember that every multiplication fact, we can get 2 division facts. 2 into 8 is equal to 16. Therefore, 16 divided by 2 gives you the answer 8 and 16 divided by 8 is equal to 2. You see that? One multiplication fact, we have two division facts. And you know how to derive out of that? The table, you must cook. When you look at 16, you know two times table? 16 divided by 2 gives you 8. 8 twos are 16. So, very clear, when you divide 16 by 2, in 16, 2 goes 8 times. So, 16 divided by 2 gives you answer 8. Now here, 16 divided by 8, 16 divided by 8, 8 goes into 16 twice. So, 16 divided by 8 gives you answer 2. Now, did you understand? One multiplication fact, we got two division fact. And how to derive at that? Yes, you know. Good. Let's take another sum and learn that one each multiplication fact gives us two division facts and let's find it. Here is a new sum for you. Now, 4 into 6. 4 sixes are equal to 24. 4 into 6 gives you 24. So, now we are going to from this one multiplication fact, we are going to get two division facts. How? Let's see. 24. If you divide 24 by 4, you must do 4 times table, 4 goes into 24 6 times. So, 24 divided by 4 gives you the answer 6. 24 divided by 4. 4 sixes are 24. Now, 24 divided by 6. 24, you divide by 6, which gives you 4 answer. 24 divided by 6 gives you the answer 4. 24 divided by 4 gives you the answer 6. You get that? Yes. For one multiplication fact, 4 into 6 equal to 24. We can get two division fact that is 24 divided 4 by 4 gives you the answer 6. 24 divided by 6 gives you the answer 4. Did you enjoy? Let us stay. Another sum. Here we are, you are given the multiplication fact 8 into 4 equal to 32. 8 fours are 
32, that is the multiplication fact. Let us get 2 division fact out of this. How? 32, 32 divided by 8, 8 goes into 32, 4 times 32 divided by 8 gives you the answer 4, 32 divided by 8 gives you the answer 4, 8 fours are 32. Next, you divide 32 divided by 4, 32 divided by 4 gives you the answer 8. 8 fours are 32. Now, you see one div multiplication fact 8 into 8 fours are 32 that gives you 12. 8 fours are 32, 32 divided by 8 gives you 4, 32 divided by 4 gives you 8. Did you understand? Let us go to another sum and enjoy understanding that. One multiplication fact gives you two division fact. Look here, the sum given to it 6 into 7, 6 sevens are equal to 42, 6 sevens are 42. Now, if we divide, we are going to get two division fact, if we divide 42 by 6, it will give you the answer 7 and if you divide 42 by 7, it will give you the answer 6. Look, 42 divided by 6 gives you the answer 7. 42 divided by 7 gives you the answer 6. Did you enjoy? Did you understand now? One multiplication fact, we can get two division facts. Let us get on to another sum. Look, 3 into 4, 3 fours are equal to 12. That is the multiplication fact given to you. 3 into 4 is equal to 12. 3 fours are 12. Now, we are going to get two division facts here. 12 divided by 3 will give you the answer 4. 12, ok. You are going to see how many times 3 will go into 12. 4 times. So, 12 divided by 3 will give you the answer 4. Good. 12 divided by 3 will give you the answer 4. Next, 12 divided by 4 will give you the answer 3. Ok, 12 divided by 4 gives you 3. 3 4s are 12, 4 3s are 12. You see that? One multiplication fact. 3 4s are 12. 12 divided by 3 gives you the answer 4. 12 divided by 4 gives you the answer 3. Did you enjoy? Good. Let us take another sum. Look, the multiplication fact given to you is 9 into 3. 9 threes are equal to 27. 9 threes are equal to 27. That is the multiplication fact given to you. Now, let us get, let us derive two division facts from here. If you divide 27 by 9, 27 divided by 9, it will give you the answer 3. 27 divided by 9 will give you the answer 3. Now, 27, if you divide it by 3, will you will get the answer 9. 27 divided by 3 equal to 9. You get that? 9 3 are 27. 27 divided by 9 gives you 3. 27 divided by 3 gives you the answer 9. For every multiplication fact, we can get two division facts. Did you enjoy? Let us take another new sum and learn that for every multiplication fact, we can get two division facts. The sum given to you is 8 into 5. 8 fives are equal to 40. 8 fives are 40. That is the multiplication fact given to you. Let us now get down to 
getting the division fact 40. If you divide 40 by 8, 40 divided by 8, it gives you the answer 5. 8 goes into 40 5 times. So, answer 5. Now, 40 if you divide it by 5, you will get the answer 8 because 5 goes into 40 8 times. 40 divided by 5, it gives you the answer 8. 8 into 5 is equal to 40. 40 divided by 8 gives you 5. 40 divided by 5 gives you the answer 8. Are you enjoying? Yes? Good. Let's take another sum. Look, the sum given to you is 7 into 8 is equal to 56. 7 8s are equal to 56. That's a multiplication fact. Now, we are going to get two division facts out of it. Look carefully. 56. If you divide 56 by 7, it must give you the answer 8. 56 divided by 7. 7 goes into 56 8 times. So, you get the answer 8. Now, 56 divided by 8. 56 divided by 8, 8 goes into 56 7 times. So, you get the answer 7. 56 divided by 8 gives you 7. 7 into 8 is equal to 56. 56 divided by 7 gives you the answer 8. 56 divided by 8 gives you the answer 7. Are you enjoying children? Good. Let's take another sum. You are given 9 into 5 is equal to 45. 9 fives are 45. That's the multiplication fact. And now we are going to form two division facts out of this. How? 45 divided by 9 will give you the answer 5. 45 divided by 9. 9 goes into 45 5 times. So, 45 divided by 9 gives you the answer 5. Next, 45 divided by 5. 45 divided by 5 gives you the answer 9. 5 goes into 45 9 times. So, you get the answer. 45 divided by 5 gives you the answer 9. The multiplication fact is 9 fives are 45 and you divide 45 by 9 gives you 5. 45 divided by 5 gives you the answer 9. Are you enjoying? Good. Let's take another sum. Look what's given to you. 8 into 9. 8 nines are 72. The sum given to you is 8 nines are 72. That's a multiplication fact. Let's get two division facts. Out of this, 92. If you divide 92 by 8, 8 will go into 90, uh, 72. Eight, 72 divided by 8. 8 goes into 72 correctly 9 times. So, you get the answer 9. 72 divided by 8, you will get the answer 9. Next, 72 divided by 9. 72 divided by 9. 9 goes into 72 exactly 8 times. So, your answer is 8. For one multiplication fact, 8 into 9, 72 gives you 2 division facts. 72 divided by 8 gives you 9. 72 divided by 9 gives you the answer 8. Good. Let's take another new sum. You are given 2 into 3 equal to 6. That's a multiplication fact given to you. 2 3s are equal to 6. Now, how do, will you get the 2 division fact? 2 3s are 6. 6 divided by 2. We have to get you the answer 3. 6 divided by 2. 2 goes into 6 3 times. 2 3s are 6. So, you get the answer 3. 6 divided by 3 gives you the answer 2. 6 divided by 3. 
three one three 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 two three goes two times into six exactly. So your answer is two. Your multiplication fact two three are six equal to two three are equal to six gives you the division fact. Six divided by two gives you three. Six divided by three gives you the answer two. Did you enjoy? Let's look at another sum. Look, four fives are twenty. The multiplication fact given to you is four into five. Four fives are twenty. Now let's get two division facts out of this. Twenty. If you divide twenty by four, you have to get the answer five. Four goes into twenty five times. Five fours are twenty. So twenty divided by four gives you the answer five. Twenty divided by four gives you the answer five. Next, twenty divided by five. Hey, you have to get the answer four. Twenty divided by five. Five goes into twenty four times. Five fours are twenty. For the multiplication, for the one multiplication fact, four fives are twenty. You get two division facts. That is twenty divided by four gives you the answer five. Twenty divided by five gives you the answer four. Did you enjoy? Good.